uh, what was the motive behind selecting the agricultural science? Economics, plant science, and animal science, which I wanted to know. A master thesis is good to know scientific methods. Uh, so have you done any internship? Uh, and I think work experience is matters the most. Um, after the course, which is the sector in agriculture to get a job easily? It's quite easy to get a job on farm, practical job. I, don't, I wouldn't say getting any job is very easy. Yeah. How important is German language to uh, you know, get into a job? The uh, modules and the university and the, the content, what, what is, um, what's possible at the university. What was your motivation for choosing the current job? What is the basic pay scale we can expect? And what about the career growth in the sector? Organics will grow and the organic sector will grow. And then which country in the European Union has the most opportunities? Yeah. Now in a real yeah. problem between organic and conventional farming. And so hello guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we finally got an agriculturalist who does work in here as an uh, agricultural uh, graduate and we will uh, ask more about the agricultural opportunities and the, uh, about the courses, the uh, opportunities uh, in the you know internships and everything related to agricultural firm. So don't skip the video, uh, do watch the whole video. So, uh, hi Hans. Hello. Hello, uh, how are you? All right, I'm all right, thanks, and you? And going good. So uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you and we thank you from our bottom of heart for finding us a little bit of time from your busy schedule. So uh, yeah. it's like, uh, could you please uh, introduce yourself for our audience? Yes, um, I'm Hans, 33 years old. I just finished my degree in my master's degree in organic agriculture in Witzenhausen in, well, now, basically two months ago. Okay. Um, I started the job a bit earlier. Yes, and I'm now on my... Mm -hmm. My job here in the north of Germany. Okay, okay. So you uh, started working there, right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, I have made a couple of questions. So I'll uh, ask you the questions. And, uh, you know, these are the questions which are shortlisted from the list of questions which uh, people ask me normally, the students uh, across the globe, like whoever want to, you know, do masters in Germany, they ask questions like this. So I'll uh, start from the very base question. What was your background before st starting your job? Um, <clears throat> well, my background was an apprenticeship in farming, okay. which I did, um, it's now 10 years back. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I did my bachelor's in uh, Berlin or near Berlin, also mm -hmm. in organic agriculture. And then I was working on different farms. And um, mm -hmm. at one point, I thought it's time to do the master's in Witzenhausen, which was in 2019. Okay. And after the, yeah, after the math master's, which was great, um, mm -hmm. I started my first office job. Okay. So um, yeah. Cool. And now that's going well. So, uh, what was the motive behind selecting the agricultural science? For some reason, I ended up um, doing my apprenticeship in farming. Um, it wasn't planned, but uh, it was more it just happened. Okay. And uh, I liked the place, so I started the apprenticeship, and um, I got interested in agriculture. And I knew that I had to had to do the studies. Okay. So uh, yeah. you really enjoyed doing like you know studying with agriculture department and all yeah cool cool so did you have any idea where bachelor studies will lead you to or was uh, what was the you know uh, eye opener in the course for you like what what, do you, what was the main motive of you have if you have any motive like uh, the, if i studied this i can be uh, you know certain in certain position something like that i think i think for me it was um more this german thing that you have to study sort of and um, i knew after my apprenticeship that there were a couple of fields economics plant science and animal science which i wanted to know more about so that was really the, so that the was thing really the yeah. eye opener. okay so and uh, what experience do you take out of the study program uh there are a lot of lots of experiences really mm -hmm. um one experience is it's always good to study in two places. It's always good to get an idea from two places and uh, different different people. And um, one good experience is the networking. You know a lot of people who want the same as you do, and it was the same with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. So I mean, like you insist us to. I mean, uh, the people to do it in like multiple universities, or um, was it a joint program with with Snowden and? It was just the normal, a normal program, just in Witzenhausen itself. I thought it was like you know combined with Göttingen or some other universities. So, uh, and the next question is regarding the thesis. Uh, does it influence the topic, or does it uh, does working in a company matters the most? Like the subjects, uh, what do you think? Like for the thesis uh, regarding the subjects, or like totally doing ex uh, gaining experience from the industries matters the most. What do you think? You mean comparing the the master thesis yeah. to my work experience? Yeah, you know, yeah. Or, 
Um, I think a master thesis is good to know scientific methods, mm -hmm. but later on, what really matters, I think, is the experience in the job. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. If that's the question, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's more or less the question. That it, it needs to see. Uh, so, have you done any internship? Uh, and if yes, if you could share the experience of what you've gained from the internships. Um, over the last years, yes. Um, different internships in Witzenhausen, I didn't do one. It wasn't planned to do one. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Corona, so I was working on a, on a farm while studying, but it's not an internship. Okay. And um, in my bachelor's, I did an internship on a dairy farm, which was great. And after that internship and after the studies, I worked on the dairy farm. So internships are very good to connect and to probably find a follow-up job. Yeah, okay, so uh, it's like easier to find a job after your course, right? Yeah, I okay. think work experience is matters the most, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, after the course, which is the sector in agriculture to get a job easily? Like, everyone literally wanted to know that. Um, I think with agricultural science, it's quite easy to get a job on farm, practical. Okay. Because people are needed. I don't, I'm not sure if it, I could say it's easy to get a, get a job. I mean, it means, uh, well, mm -hmm. what kind of job do you want? And like, I, I now work in um, agricultural advice, like in, I give advice to people and we do some project works and it's not always easy. I mean, there are always more mm -hmm. people who apply for a job than there's, you know, it's always a little bit of a uh -huh. yeah, I think. competition. So it's never, it's never easy. So but I mean, like. Are you still working at the same place where you done your internship, or is it like a different job? No, I switched jobs. Yeah, okay. since since my I mean the one job was after my bachelor's, and I had two or three jobs after my bachelor, and um, now I have one completely different job after my master's. That was also the idea, and I got the job easily because in my studies I started working for the company already, so mm -hmm. it was fairly easy to get that job. But I don't, I wouldn't say getting any job is very easy. Yeah, yeah, at of, course, the, of course, of course. And uh, so, uh, if, do you insist like if there are any uh, kind of added skill which you needed during the you know time uh, at, like you know any kind of software studies or uh, any you know added skills which you need to acquire during the period of study like which will help you later on in the job? Um, I hope that answers your question. I did a little Excel course mm -hmm. okay. which was quite interesting, okay. uh, which helped me, and um, I also did a one week course. Um, about biodiversity and natural science and this was quite a good week and okay. that helps me in my job right now quite a bit perfect perfect so uh, what do you think about you know about the foreigners how important is german language to uh, you know get into a job for like is it really important or are there english speaking jobs as well I think there are a lot of english speaking jobs in germany also in the agricultural field okay. in my branch, if you want to call it like the advice thing, it's not common to speak English because the farmers are also German speaking. Mm -hmm. But if you go into the direction of um, mm -hmm. the, the branches of chemistry or like mm -hmm. BSF and what, what they're called and um, seed companies, it's very, very important to know English. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I think it's still important to know the German language, but mm -hmm. in some cases you're on a level where you don't have to speak English anymore. Yeah, but yeah. obviously that's depending on the field you're like in. if you have the German language skills means you have your opportunities are really more right broadened I yeah. think I would say it's yeah. my I, I think if you can speak German in Germany it's it's very good, yeah. Of course. Quite good yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and what are the hurdles you faced uh, what can be done to avoid it like during your studies like any mistakes or anything you would advise I'm not sure um, I think I would really look on, look into the modules and the university and the, the, the content what what is um, what's possible on the university mm -hmm. and really look into what you call probably the in-between okay. achievements okay. Um, okay. because the three or four years studying are mm -hmm. quite a long time and I think you can learn a lot if you take the chance and yeah. if you really look into what's what's yeah. there and yeah. grab it and do yeah. it like <laughs> but I don't really have any I didn't really have any hurdles or I wouldn't I don't know if there's anything I did wrong yeah so, okay so you you advise us to you know take more subjects i mean more electives and learn it to to acquire knowledge yeah. right yeah perfect yeah and take the chances that are offered to you by the university yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so and uh, what was your motivation for choosing the current job position 
I always want to go into um, advising or this kind of job. And uh, my current job is in my home, near my hometown. Okay. That was the big motivation. And um, <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. really, that was it. <laughs> and the next question was, how did you get your current position, which you already answered, I guess, like soon after you just you got into. Yeah, I, I worked. I worked there before whilst whilst uh, studying, and um, mm. I got that position right straight afterwards. Yeah. Okay. So, what have you been up to since graduating? After graduating, did you you know spend some time on anything like for internships or any other thing? Or um. Well, there are. I graduated twice, uh -huh. so after my bachelor's, I was working and I was um, going to different countries and enjoying life. Uh -huh. And after my master's, now uh -huh. uh, with thirty-three years, I started working and um, mm -hmm. yeah, get into the work life uh -huh. first of all. Right. So you're yeah, enjoying life right now. That's good. Yeah. And uh, the, the next question is, of course, like a lot of people asked, uh, what is the basic pay scale we can expect after completing? I mean, like the minimum pay scale. Or I think, I think still, obviously, regarding in the, on the field, but mm -hmm. um, agricultural science in Germany, I would look at. If you don't go into practical work, if you go into the the other fields, but practical, mm -hmm. you're looking at thirty-eight to. Well. Uh, minimum thirty-eight, I would say thirty-eight thousand okay. a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, obviously, if maybe obviously like you can earn a lot, but okay. I would say thirty-eight to fifty-five. Okay. Okay. So depending upon the position, right? Definitely, yeah. But if you if you start the job and your first um, your first um, your first pay is about is is, is forty thousand plus a year, mm -hmm. it's all right. And you get more once you're longer in the in the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, and what about the career growth in the sector? Like, how will be, you know? It's gonna be it's gonna be big. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gonna be um, organic farming will be more and more and more. Okay. Now with the situation we are in in Europe and uh, mm -hmm. the whole Ukraine thing yeah, and yeah, yeah. Corona, it's a bit or COVID COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. it's a bit. Um, yeah, it's not it's not the best yeah. time, but um, organics will grow and the organic sector will grow, and there are more and more companies inventing things and new players coming into the market. And I think it's there will be a huge amount of opportunities. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good motivation for the people. And um, what do you think? Which country in the European Union has the most opportunities, like apart from Germany? Like uh, Netherlands, France. Mm -hmm. Would be the uh, would be my idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course they have like a lot of uh, fields and you know the, the agriculture yeah. sector is booming there as well. Yeah. And France is quite good in technology, I think. Yeah. They're quite they like to do things and invent things and yeah. Okay. Okay. So and uh, this is the final question. Uh, what do you think about the agricultural sector in Germany, like in like, the next twenty five years or so? Like. Boom. Um. The agricultural field, it's going to be, that is, diff that is diff a difficult question, um, because we are right now in a real yeah. problem between organic and conventional farming, and it's gonna, there is a little split, and um, we do have these ideas of uh, having a certain percentage of Germany with organic agriculture, like we, we are mm -hmm. looking at the 30% until yeah, 2030. It, the country is going more into the sustainable way to, you know, produce agricultural. I mean, Sust organic. Yeah, I think, I think sustainability is coming, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, where you get your product from is more and more very important for the, for the customers. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure about the organic uh, sector. I mean, it's going to grow, definitely. Mm -hmm. But... Um, there are, yeah, there are quite a few people who are very skeptical. Yeah. You know, I think like the because of the pr increasing price as well, like you know, for organic it's, it's it's more, increasing yeah. price, but it also right now goes in very much the way or the conventional ideas or it's, it's very much how can we feed the world with yeah. more and more um, rising yeah price, maybe. cuts in cuts in um, um, in, in how you call them. Uh, sprays, um, more cuts in um, nit nitrate leaching and all that stuff. I mean, um, it's going to be, there is a big discussion coming. There is already a big discussion and I'm not sure 25 years is a long time. <laughs> uh, I would say um, like 
maybe. Let's hope we get the 30% organic agriculture in Germany well, done. There is the plan, and right? Like within this span of time, they are, you know, trying to make it all more organic because in the last previous semester, I was having a subjects of international organic markets. So we learned like the they are like hoping for 2030 at least to bring a little bit amount. I mean, like a small increase into this firm. I mean, organic firm. But let's see. Hopefully, yeah, it will work in the future. So uh, that's all from my side. And yeah, uh, you want something to add up or like anything, any advice or anything? Um, well, I think agriculture is a really interesting sector and I think there's a lot to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, yeah, I just want to say that organic or conventional, however, I think agriculture should be, uh, will not, will not, will always be present and will always be something where people can find jobs and yeah perfect that's yeah. a huge motiv motivation really okay. and uh, i thank you so much for you know for your time and no uh, that's all about today's video um, thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel as well and share this video to your friends uh, who are aspiring to you know come to germany or any part of europe for doing agricultural masters uh, or bachelors or anything so we wish you all success with your career as well. So thank you.